replacing Rock Key by Rocktech, an affordable, quality chroma key unit for the Amiga computer. With the Rock Gen Plus and Rock Key, you can now do high-end production studio effects such as invert, overlays, phase and dissolves, and even embed video in graphics using your home VCR and Amiga computer. What exactly is chroma key? Chroma keying is removing a particular color, chroma, from a video source and replacing that portion of the keyed out video with computer graphics or another video source. Rock key has many useful and production coordinated functions including chroma keying, normal overlay, luma keying, graphic sandwich, which is graphics embedded in video, a key sandwich, which is video embedded within keying signals, graphic window, key window, graphic label, a key through, and you can even hook up a digitizer to the splitter. Now that we've seen some of the examples of what the rock key can do, here is the equipment needed to do successful chroma keying with the rock key. Taking for granted you have an Amiga computer and an RGB monitor, the only other pieces of equipment you will need are the rock key, a gen lock such as a rock gen plus, a video camera with composite output, at least two video light sources, and a backdrop of any color. For demonstration purposes, we'll use a large blue double knit cloth as our backdrop, although Rock Key does allow you to key to any color. Video cabling and a sizable area with respect to subject and lighting rounds off the list of essential items. Once you have all the pieces, we'll need to make a small chroma key studio. We put together a temporary chroma key studio relatively inexpensively and in a matter of minutes. We took an old storeroom, approximately 10 by 15 feet, with 10 foot ceilings, and hung our blue cloth and two double fluorescent light banks. Also, plenty of AC outlets was definitely helpful. Lighting is the most important part of chroma keying. You'll need to have ample lighting to light your subject, as well as the background behind your subject. Any shadows or change of hue as a result of improper lighting will cause your background not to key out properly and result in fringing, furring, and in other words, a messy key. I found that fluorescent lights generally work well. If you have a camera with an adjustable white balance, you should have no problem achieving the proper hues using fluorescent lights. Plus, they're cooler, use less energy, and seems to diffuse the light evenly with no hot spots. Along with our existing overhead fluorescent lighting, which was a big help in our overall ambient lighting needs, we suspended lights in front of our backdrop but behind our subject to remove shadows. We then light our subject from the front. The exact positioning for lights is respective to your work area and subject. Once you have your work area set up, it's time to assemble the hardware, so let's put it all together. Make sure the power is off to all components you have a table or work area large enough to accommodate all of the equipment and enough AC power strips to plug everything in. Start by plugging in all of the power cables and power supplies. Next, plug the Rock Gen RGB cable into the RGB port of your Amiga. Now, plug the Rock Key RGB cable into the RGB pass-through of the Rock Gen. Connect your RGB monitor cable to the RGB pass-through of the rock key. Finally, if you're using a digitizer with your setup, connect the digitizer to the parallel port of your computer. You can safely turn on the power to the components to check and see if you have continuity, a display on your RGB monitor. If you have an auto-booting hard drive, you should see the boot sequence happening. If you don't, your workbench prompt is looking at you. Let's connect the remaining video cables. By video cables, we mean 75 ohm video cables, not audio cables. Interference and impedance are very important when dealing with video signals. To be on the safe side, let's turn the power off before connecting the remaining video cables. Start by connecting the key out of your rock key to the key in of your Rock Gen Plus. 
Now connect the video through of your Rock Key to the video in of your Rock Gen Plus. Take the video out of the Rock Gen Plus and connect it to the composite input of your video monitor. If you're using a digitizer with your setup, connect a video cable from the digitizer to the splitter jack in the rear of the Rock Key. Finally, connect the video output of your camera to the video in of the Rock Key. Let's confirm the fact that everything is working properly before we continue. Assuming everything is hooked up correctly and turned on, boot up your favorite graphics software program and load your soon-to-be background. It can be a still, an animation, or even text from a CG program. After loading your background, you'll need to switch from your RGB display to your composite video display. Upon doing this, you may or may not have an image on your screen, depending upon your settings on the Rock Key and the Rock Gen Plus. On the Rock Gen Plus, make sure the video input and graphics input are on maximum. On the Rock Key, make sure the knobs are turned to minimum and all LEDs are off. You should be seeing a composite image of your Amiga graphics background. We are now at the starting point. Let's do some chroma keying. Until you get the background, the lighting, and the camera just right, I suggest working with an inanimate object. Find something that isn't bluish or blue-greenish in hue. Those colors tend to key out with the blue background. Black also tends to key out, so try to stay away from very dark objects. Place your object in the middle of your lit area. This keeps the shadows on the backdrop down to a minimum. Be sure all sides, top and bottom of your subject are evenly lit. Make sure the chroma LED and the blue LED on the rock key is lit. Then, turn the blue knob until you key out as much of the blue background as possible. Now, turn the red knob to sharpen the burr. Finally, turn the green knob to sharpen and polish the edges. Voila! You should now have your object keyed over your graphics background. Don't expect your key to be perfect the first time. I'm sure you will have to adjust the lights and play with the camera iris settings a while before you start getting really good results. There are many good effects one can achieve by using the Rock Key and the Rock Gen Plus together. The following examples are provided as guidelines to help you achieve these effects quickly and easily.
hope you enjoy using your Rock Key in your home video productions.